smart civil engineers i am engineer masrur and you are watching engineering network youtube channel i am back with another important topic so in today's video lecture our topic is how to do rough estimation of a house or building okay now many fresh civil engineers now many fresh civil engineers ask me that please make a video on how to do the rough estimation of a house or building so in this video I am going to teach you about few thumb rules and with the help of those thumb rules you will easily calculate the rough estimation of a house within few minutes okay so kindly watch this video completely so that you have a clear idea about how to do the rough estimation of a house now before i start this video if you find this video informative then please click on the like button share it with your friends and if you are new to my channel then please click on the subscribe button and also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos so let's start okay so our topic is how to calculate or how to do the rough estimation of house or building now a house is basically consist of two things one is concrete and second is steel So first let's find out the rough estimation of concrete. Now let's assume that this is the house whose surface area is 900 square feet. Okay? Because length of this house is 30 feet and width of this house is also 30 feet. Now according to the thumb rule for the volume of concrete calculation in a house, it states that the volume of concrete in any house or building is equal to 0.038 times the total surface area of that house or building okay so the volume of concrete for this house is equal to 0.038 multiplied by 900 which is the total surface area of this house and after calculations the total volume of concrete or the amount of concrete that will be used in this house is 34.2 cubic meter okay so i can say that in this house construction 34.2 cubic meter concrete will be used now here again i am telling you that this is the rough estimation of this house the amount of concrete may increase or decrease after the construction of house is started okay now let's talk about the rough estimation of materials like cement sand and coarse aggregate which will be used in 34.2 cubic meter concrete right now in house construction we normally use three grades of concrete which is m7.5 grade concrete M15 grade concrete and M20 grade concrete. Okay, so these three grades are mostly used by the engineers in house or building construction. Now let's assume that in this house construction, M20 grade concrete is used, and we know that in M20 grade concrete, the number of cement bags are 5.40 bags. the quantity of sand is 0.42 cubic meter and the quantity of coarse aggregate is 0.84 cubic meter right and also remember here that these numbers are for 1 cubic meter concrete okay so in 34.2 cubic meter concrete the total number of cement bags that will be used is 34.2 multiply by 5.40 and the total number of cement bags will become 192 cement bags okay and the total quantity of sand in 34.2 cubic meter concrete is 34.2 multiply by 0.42 and the total quantity of sand will become 14.364 cubic meter and the total quantity of coarse aggregate will be equal to 34.2 multiply by 0.84 and it will become 28.728 cubic meter right 
So this is how you can easily estimate your house within few minutes. And I'm telling you again that this is the rough estimation of house and it might increase or decrease after the construction is started. Now let's start about the rough estimation of steel because steel is also one of the main component in a house construction. Okay? Now in residential buildings where people used to live, we normally use 6 to 7.5 kg steel per square feet. Okay? And in case of commercial buildings, the amount of steel used is around 4.5 to 5.3 kg per square feet. Okay? Now the total surface area of this house is 900 square feet. And if I consider this is a residential building, and if I take the amount of steel per square feet is 6.5 kg, then the total amount of steel that will be used in this building will be 6.5 multiplied by 900, okay? And the total amount of steel will become 5,850 kg, which is equal to 5.85 tons, right? And let's say if we assume this building is a commercial building, and the amount of steel used per square feet is 5 kg, then the total amount of steel used in this commercial building will become 4,500 kg, which is equal to 4.5 tons, right? So this is how you can do the rough estimation of steel in a house or building. Now, if you want to find out the amount of steel in only slab or beam or column, then for that, we also have some thumb rules. Now for slab, we use one person steel to the total surface area of the house. For beam, we use two person steel to the surface area of the house. In column, we use 2.5 person steel to the total surface area of the house. And in footing, we use 0.8 person steel to the total surface area of the house. Right? So if you remember these thumb rules, then I am sure that you will easily find out the amount of steel in any type of building or house. Right? So these are the few thumb rules for the rough estimation of a house. And if you remember these thumb rules, then you will easily do the estimation of any house within few minutes. Okay? Now I hope you will find this video interesting. So before I end this video, I have a request from you guys. If you find this video informative, then please click on the like button. Share it with your friends. And if you are new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button. And also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos. See you in the next video.